Welcome back to the Learning Garden, for those of you who haven't been here before. This is our new house, and my name is Pip. We, and by the way, I like to think in the collective simply because <laughs> I've been alone doing this for so many weeks. Um, we've been painting for a long time, but the kitchen goes in this week. So I've got to try and get this area completely done this weekend so that then I don't drop paint on my beautiful new kitchen. And also it's just got to get done. So we've got 10 days until the flooring comes in and I've got doors to paint, walls to paint, ceilings to paint, insides of cupboards to paint. Oh, it's a lot of paint. So I just thought I would film a small update video and let you guys see how things are progressing. Ugh, it is obviously been a bit chaotic and there's been a lot happening. I have barely filmed anything in the last few weeks and apologies for the audio in this clip, but I don't have my usual camera set up and I haven't been filming because this is what I've been doing, working on getting paint on the wall so I can get as much done as possible before the new flooring goes in. One done, two more to go and a whole bunch of walls. The main goal for this weekend was to get a coat of sealer and primer on the remaining four roofs and to get two layers of sealing paint on, plus as many walls as I could physically do. Second room is done, the ceiling. I had to do this room first because it's smaller and oh, after this is now the third day in a row of painting ceilings, my neck and shoulders are so sore and tired. I just needed to do this one first to kind of feel like I was almost there because I know that room in there is gonna take a while because it's a big roof. Better get back to it. I hate painting and I particularly hate painting ceilings. I had a neck surgery for thyroid cancer a long time ago so I hate looking up at the ceiling and the lighting in this house for painting at the moment is not great. But I'm also not that great <laughs> at painting. I find that because I work with my hands all during the week, if I paint and I hold the roller without the big extender pole that my hands and fingers get really, really sore and then I struggle at work. But yeah, I'm still not the best painter even if I'm holding the roller as it's supposed to be held, but whatever. I am just really trying to do as much as I possibly can myself to keep my costs down and I am trying to do my best painting job ever and trying to be as neat as possible but I tell you, I am so thankful for not having to deal with drop sheets and protect the flooring. That is the easiest type of painting. As you can see, I have not been able to protect myself from paint splatter, nor do I ever think that I would have actually been able to protect the floors because oh, I'm just a messy painter. But it actually turned out pretty well and I was pretty stoked with how it was going on. I am not the best at cutting in but I gave it a red hot crack and I tried as hard as I could to get it neat um, but it's not perfect if you go around and have a look at it now it's not perfect but when and if I have time I will go around and touch it up but this was a mammoth task to get all of this done and every day I was just completely shattered and it was weak after week after week of painting and that is also part of the reason why I wasn't filming because you guys don't want to watch me paint week after week it's not that interesting but I just wanted to give you this video so that you could kind of see what I've been working on see what the progress is like on the inside because there's a pretty big surprise coming at the towards the end of this video and you'll get to see what I've been working towards and it's really been exciting and satisfying to see, but it's been so, so exhausting. I've tidied up in here as much as I have time for before I go to work. Next time we come back, there will be a kitchen installed, which is very exciting.
Just to give you guys a bit of a reminder about the before, we had this banged up purple kitchen in the middle of the house, a bedroom and a rumpus room off to the side with a really small dining area. And then what we started to do was get the kitchen out that went to somebody else's house um, into a little granny flat that they had down the back. We pulled out the walls for the bedroom and opened this dining area right up. One bedroom became the space where the kitchen is going and the other one became this room we're about to walk into which is the pantry. So I changed the door position and where the original door was uh, the kitchen guys are going to be putting in a linen cupboard and a pantry on the other side. We're still waiting for cornices so I can finish painting and bench tops but I thought I would give you guys a bit of a peek as to the amazing kitchen that went in this week. And again, a little peek at the before and after. Thanks so much for hanging out with us and we'll see you in the next video.